with the PlayStation 5 spec reveal finally around the corner. Can the Xbox Series X spec reveal hype survive? Let's get into it. What's up, people? What's up, people? What is up, people? It is your boy, MM2K, back again with another video. Do me a huge favor before we get into this episode of The Medicine. Hit that like button. Hit that subscribe button. Rock those bells for notifications, please, so you know when your boy's dropping these doses. I appreciate all of y'all straight up because y'all know the deal. Y'all know the reason why. Y'all know the slogan. I am not too proud to ask. Let's get into it. All right, so here's the deal, y'all. I want to show this to y'all real quick because this doesn't have to be a long, drawn-out video. You know what I'm saying? Something I've been saying for a while now, for the last year or so at least, what I've been hitting to last couple of years and, and since I've been eyeballing sideways Phil Spencer, you know what I'm saying? And, and I'm just hoping that everybody can now understand where I'm coming from. So let's do this, let's do this real quick. Okay, this is a tweet that I sent uh, not too long ago from this recording. And a lot of people didn't like it. And I get it, I get it. Because it seems like that I was trying to be dismissive of Xbox talking about the Series X specs. And I'm explaining why this wasn't dismissive, but this was trying to get you guys to look at the full trajectory. To not look at the now, but look at five days beyond the now, okay? So let me just read the tweet first. Everflow, Xbox drops spec news. Bots get all creamy knuckle, excuse me, <laughs> excuse the pun there, and announce their superiority next gen. Ponies find holes slash Xbox does or says something stupid. Bots damage control for next two weeks. Then Xbox drops new specs. 51st dates community. You like a little, like a little snapshot of my man from the old Spice commercials on there. You know what I'm saying? Hey, look. Here's why I put that out there. Okay, I want everybody to follow me. Again, this ain't got to be long drawn out. I ain't got to throw a whole bunch of word solid to make this make sense. Let's look at the next tweet here. This is from Xbox. These are, their, let, let me scroll down a little bit. Let's get to the preliminary tweets when they finally did this reveal. They did the reveal like around what, the 16th? I believe so. All right, so we're going down. This is, oh, there's a whole bunch of them. Oh, look at all these tweets. Okay, right now, the first tweet was the, the about the building the power in your dreams and all this other stuff. It got 3.6 thousand likes. The next one, uh, about what? 3,000 likes, you know, where they talk about the architecture and stuff like that. This is all subsequent after Digital Foundry did their thing. This is all follow-ups, 4.2 thousand likes, 3.9 thousand. This one got 10,000. Ooh, this one got 72,000, 4.7 thousand. You know what I'm saying? 4.5 thousand. This one got 18.3 thousand. You know, decent amount of likes, right? This is on the heels of them dropping all this information about Xbox. Okay. But let me show you this. PlayStation just simply says, tune into our PlayStation blog tomorrow at 9 a.m. Pacific. And we're going to show you some stuff. Look how many likes those got. Now, I don't want to hear the garbage. Oh, we're going by likes. Now, these are social media litmuses. These show you how engaged people are with stuff. Y'all did the same bull crap last time when people were showing the simple fact that a PS5 logo garnered more attention than a whole bunch of stuff that Microsoft was saying. And here's why. What... X, what Microsoft is talking right now is Bibblewatts and Gigahertz. It's stuff that resonates to their fans, the people they already have, but means nothing to the people that they don't have. Where this same tired, sorry PlayStation 5 logo, it's synonymous with something. It's synonymous with, we're going to get hardcore games. We're going to get top of the line games. Oh my goodness, they're about to show us better games that are coming next generation. Where all this stuff is synonymous with gigawatts, people hurts for games that I don't care about, okay? So that was the focal point of this tweet. 
that as long as Xbox stays on the Bibblewatts and Gigahertz talk and don't follow it up with games, then they're not gonna they're gonna not make they're not going to be able to maintain any traction. And those of you that are in the Xbox solo, y'all gotta understand this. Nobody's saying that Xbox doesn't have an opportunity to do some things. But right now, they are not showing it until they show the games. Now, am I saying that the specs talk doesn't matter? No, you gotta solidify your base and that's fine. But all I'm saying is in a game of American football, where you're getting first downs and you're marching down the field, if you're being outscored 21 nothing and it's in the fourth quarter, don't say you won the game because you got a couple of first downs. You still got to get in the end zone. That's all we're saying here. And my Xbox brethren, I'm going to tell you this. If Sony comes out here and does one or two things, which is thing number one, they just basically will go out there and do a one-for-one -one match versus Microsoft and say, we got specs too. You know what I'm saying? That are pound for pound in capabilities. They may not drop numbers. They may just say, look, our stuff can do this and can do that in plain English that resonates more with the gamer that they have that they're trying to maintain. And I might go more by saying less to keep those gamers interested and say, oh, okay, you made sense of what those numbers make. You're basically, you basically have the same capabilities of Microsoft. Okay, and I already, I'm already familiar with you, so I'm, I'm sold. Or what they may go out there and do is they might actually go out there and outshine Xbox in specs and or show games too. And if any of those things happen, all of that stuff that y'all were jumping out of the window for, you know what I'm saying? Wiping off your midsections after you saw for, saw the release for, all that goes out of the window because it wasn't solidified with what games perception is not to the law and the perception here with xbox what my xbox brother gotta understand is that microsoft's name and anything that comes out their mouth right now is not solidified with what great gaming experiences it just isn't whether it's true or not that's the perception and if you want to change that perception, you're not going to do it with the gigawatts and biberhertz talk. You're going to maybe appease some of your base, all right? But your ultimate goal is to get the people that you've lost over the course of the generation. And in order for you to do that, you got to show the games. So don't get mad at me when I'm not excited. Like, okay, now you're in this. You're not in this until you get points on the board. You don't get points on the board, meaning you don't catch up from behind from being 21 down in the fourth quarter until you show how all this stuff is gonna resonate to the average gamer with games. So again, this ain't gotta be a long video and it's not gonna be a long video. I'm gonna end this right now. Xbox brethren understand that if one of those two things happen, Everything that I said in this tweet is going to happen because the stupid thing that happened was, you know what I'm saying? That ponies found holes in this whole, uh, uh, what do you call that? The, 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 the external storage, the one terabyte external storage, they're picking that apart right now. You know what I'm saying? And then Xbox doing all this shit, they were the most powerful console and they had to pull that back and say they were the most powerful Xbox console. Now they might end up being the most powerful console, but Ponies is already digging into that. And the dumb thing that Xbox did is had Digital Foundry once again come and, 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 and check out their machine. Where Mark Sony's just gonna talk about their thing them, themselves. I've already forewarned against having Digital Foundry come out there because the only thing that resonates to gamers is price. And Digital Foundry was like, oh, that external storage is gonna be pricey. I don't, I don't know how else to break this down, but we're gonna end this right here. Again, understand, get out of your silos and, and, and urge Microsoft to so, show games sooner rather than later. That's it from your boy MM2K. Let me know what you think about what I had to say in the comment section below, because like I always say, who cares what I think? But if you did like what I had to say, check out the links below to follow me. Those links will lead you to the broadband bullies. PNTS Network. 
Hard Knock Digital Culture, and yes, the Stadia Dosage. And with that said, you all have a wonderful, wonderful gaming day. See you at the PS5 presentation, baby. Peace.